Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I get questions all the time as to what my planning basics would be or kind of how to get started in planning and what to buy and things like that. So I figured I would do a video on it since it's one of my most popularly asked questions. So this is just from my own experience and what I like. So um, what I use, this is not any of the stuff I'm showing today isn't my stuff, but I just wanna show you for example. I really enjoy the Erin Condren Life Planners. Um, this is an hourly layout in the neutral version, so it's got like the little black and gray scale. Absolutely love this. This is what I use for all my plan with me's. I do currently have a colorful version for 2018, but my mind works this way, and it works from like, this has it from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, so I just, I don't know, I really, really like this format really, really well. And um, uh, they have three different formats at erincondren.com for you to take a look at. But this works really well for me. Um, the monthly views, to be honest, I don't use them that often, but that's just me personally. I know a lot of other people use their monthly views religiously and they absolutely love them. Plus they use their week view as well but i just really like this this one is the one that is for 2018 from january all the way to december and then in the back there are some notes pages and things like that and then at the very very back there are some fun stickers that come with the planner which is amazing and then at the very very back here um, there is a little pocket folder and there's a little pocket on this side as well this one is just a basic cover that says, do what you love and love what you do. Um, this is one of my favorite cover schemes, which is the silver metallic, like I think they're called like ribbon stripes. I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, I really like this as well. I'm a fan of the silver coil. I think they call it platinum um, just because it doesn't cost more money. I think it's, I want to say it's like five to $10 more for a different colored coil. I think they have black gold and then rose gold, if I remember right. But there is an upcharge for that. And I just, silver's just fine with me, you know? So this is my like main planner that I absolutely love. Speaking of planners, I know that a lot of people really, really enjoy the monthly deluxe planner, which this is the monthly deluxe. So if you're a person that doesn't necessarily want a week view at a time and you just want the uh, month view, this is perfect for you. So this one goes from January 2018 all the way to December. The only thing that bothers me about this planner and I really wish they would do is that I wish that they would put little tabs on them, um, but it's something that you could add in very, very easily. So this is April 2018, here's your month view, and then you flip the page, you've got five boxes here, and then you've got like a productivity page as well, and then you are flipping into the beginning of the next month, so then now we're into May. Um, this one is really kind of handy because you can elect to pay a little bit more to get extra notes pages in the back. And this is how many notes pages there are. And they're all lined and I really, really enjoy that, especially if you're just using the monthly view. You could use this to uh, jot down ideas or maybe you have like a really packed week and you've got a lot of things to itemize or like tasks to complete or do and you can use these and then you can rip them out when you're done or you can leave it in, you know, whatever you want to do. And then at the back of this book, there are some sticker sheets. There's some more basic functional sticker sheets, which I love. Again, this one has the pockets and then this is the colorful version so it does have a little bit of color um, in it which i really enjoy again with the silver coil this is also something that you can customize obviously with a different cover and everything but i believe the coils are customized in the erin condren monthly deluxe or planner as well i keep wanting to say calendar it's not a calendar it's a planner also another item that i think is great for a functional or a decorative planner um, would be these these are the erin condren stylized sticky notes these have like the little teeth on the side so you can clip these into your coil what i like to do with mine is have it on the in the front page and then put this over it just so like these don't get all mucky or anything so it's kind of protected um 
So I really, really like these, and it's a great little placeholder. Um, I actually used a couple of these the other day because a friend of mine is coming to visit me in August, and I just kind of like put her flight information on the day that she was arriving and then the day that she was departing. So I kind of have that little placeholder if I don't want to already plan my week out in August, you know, as we're like talking on the phone. I wanted to just put all her flight information in there, put it on the proper date, and then move on, and then when I get ready to plan that week, then I can put in all her flight information with a sticker. So love these, and then these are the, I think these are called Floral Ink, I think is the name of this pattern, but Erin Condren has lots of different um, sticky note pattern options as well. Another th fun thing from Erin Condren are these sticker books. Um, I think this is the, m I don't know if this is the most recent one, but I don't know, it's one that I like. I figured I'd open up a new one so you could see it and not see mine all used and janky. So this one is um, the designer sticker book. It's the monthly collection edition three and it says always a reason and season to celebrate. And I really like this because it goes with the colorways that are for the month. So this is January obviously because it says January but you could really use most of these anytime. I probably wouldn't put, want to put Happy New Year in the middle of March, but you know, different strokes, baby, you know? <laughs> um, and then there's like February, but these are just like these pretty foils. We've got March, and I like these because they have a combination of like decorative things as well as functional things for people. So, I mean, they've got little boxes, they've got little washi strips, and they've also got like little butterflies and flowers and things like that every month. So I think this is just a really nice like starter thing, especially if you don't know your style. And I get those questions all the time of like, I'm just new in the community and I just really don't know what I wanna do. Like, am I a decorative person? Am I a functional person? I don't know. Um, so these are just some great things to get you started. And um, I will leave links below to everything as well. But yeah, it's, I just really like this and I think this would be a great thing to get somebody started or if you are just starting, this is a great thing to just have on hand so you don't have to spend you know, hundreds of dollars on Etsy um, to figure out what your style is, like I did unfortunately. Um, but this is just a great thing because it has lots of different options in there. So I really, really like this. Also a fun thing to kind of get somebody started here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. This is a kind of new to me thing. I have a couple of these and these are a habit tracker and it's just a sheet of paper and you can actually if you want to um, there's like adhesive little patches on here so you could potentially just put it right into your book right there if you wanted to. Um, I know some people have done that or they just put it on their fridge or don't even use the adhesive and they use like a little clip or it's just kind of sitting on their counter which is totally fine but this is like a cool little habit tracker. You could use this for like financial things. You could use this for like just daily tasks that need to be done. And then there's the Monday through Sunday. And then you can just kind of check it off as you do it. Um, this would be great for kids. This would be great for yourself. There's so many options with this and it's got a bunch of sheets of paper. I'm not really sure how many, but this is a brand new pack. And I don't know, I just think this is like a really cool thing, really cool thing to have. Okay, and the last thing from Erin Condren that I would suggest to a new person would be these colorful dual tip markers. The nice thing is these markers, um, the, the fatter tip looks really nice. Also, the smaller tip is very reminiscent of like one of my favorite types of markers, which is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent, which there's a link down below for you guys for these. These are my favorite permanent marker to use. I have them in blue and black, and I think I have them in red as well, um, but I really like these. But the fine point in these ones are very reminiscent to this. The nice thing about the Erin Condren ones is you can write on the Erin Condren paper, like in the planners, and um, it doesn't necessarily bleed through. Um, it can bleed through if you leave your tip down for too long, but if you're just you know writing at a normal speed, um, it's gonna be pretty good. So I really like this. I like that there's a black and there's a bunch of different colors so you can kind of experiment with everything versus going to your office supply store and spending a ton of money on pens or markers that you don't necessarily like. I like that there's only six of them in here so if you don't like them or if you're like, gosh, I really like writing with only these couple colors, you can always pass off the other colors to somebody too. So um, again, good for someone just starting out. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna talk about, which is something I'm so excited about. I had to save this for last because Oh my gosh. My friend Catherine and I over at Coffee Break Planner had has been talking for months and months and months and I've been telling her that, you know, I get a lot of my subscribers and people 
asking me, you know, what the best stickers are to choose if I want to get someone into planning or maybe they have a friend or a family member that's just getting into it but they just don't know what their style is. Well, now we have come up with something. I kind of curated Coffee Break Planner's website. You can buy all of these individually. These do not need to be as a pack as they are, but there is a little bit of a discount for buying the pack and I'll go into the price and all of that in a little bit. But um, I wanted to show you guys what was in this. Uh, today is the day that she is launching this. Uh, it's called the Emily's Beginner Bundle and it's gonna be on her Etsy shop. So wanted to share. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit more so because I want you to see all the pretties, okay? So this is one of my favorite, favorite sticker sheets. These actually come in a variety of different colors so you can get like all green or all yellow. Um, and these are transparent dots. So what I like to use them for, and I'll show you real quick, is in my main planner. These dates in the very front of here, so these dates right here, they fit perfectly over one of the dates. So if you know you've got like trips coming up or vacation scheduled or something with like kids school or your work or other commitments, it's nice to say, okay, so August 11th through the 16th, I'm gonna be gone and you can put, you know, pink stickers from the 11th to the 16th or whatever you're doing. You can also, I know that a lot of people have done this and created like a little key up here to say like pink is like school related and blue is work related or whatever. Like it's just a really cool thing. And again, these come in a bunch of different varieties. Also, she created some red ones, like bright red ones, like, you know, just like a regular red. I don't know why I say bright red, but a red. And I personally like to use those. And I know this is TMI but I like to personally use those for when I have my period on my calendar here. So like right now, like this is like, this is just a page that says February one. So if I had my period, like this week or this starting then I would want to put like little red dots up here just to symbolize that. And then also because you know, every time you go to the doctor, I'm always like, I don't remember the last time, like I had my period. <laughs> I know that's maybe TMI, but um, it's nice to like, when I know I have a doctor's appointment, say like in March and I can go back and say like, oh, this was the last time that, you know, that happened to me. So, cause they always ask you and I'm always like, I have no idea. I don't know. It's like pretty regular. Ooh. So <laughs> anyways, but you know, it's just different things to symbolize. So these are these really cute scalloped event boxes um, and I love the green. We've got the purple, which is a really pretty deep purple. We've got the pink, which are faves. We also have in the bundle these little skinny, whoa, <laughs> sorry, I can't like put things in the right places on the camera today. Um, we've also got these like really skinny little event stickers as well. Also, these are amazing for just like having a little teardrop and like reminders of the day. I love those. Here are some really great half boxes. And what I tried to do when I like kind of curated this stuff with her is I didn't want everything to be the same color. So everything would be kind of a mixed up color way. Oh my gosh, I can't even show you. There we go. Um, like a mixed up color way. So there's, you know, it wasn't gonna be like green and green or blue and blue. Like it was gonna be a, like a, just a little bit of a variety because I think this is gonna appeal to a lot of people that are just starting out or that maybe want to get some people started with planning. So just a variety, you know, a variety is always nice. And then, so these are more of that functional stuff. And then I wanted to select some stickers that I think would be really functional for, vi for anybody. Um, and I know that's difficult sometimes when we all have different things going on in our lives, but um, I thought that these would fit really well for a lot of people. So I chose these really cute little farmer's market boxes, the ones that do not have any um, lettering on them. I like the plain ones because I can always write with my pen where I'm going to get groceries, whether it's like Target or Aldi, and I just love the way that that looks in my planner. I'm a more functional girl, but I do like a little bit of decorative as well. So this is kind of to get someone into like decorative a little bit and just see what if they like it. Also, there's these really cute little pencils with nothing in the middle. I believe that Catherine has ones that say different things that are like school related. I think that say like no school, early dismissal, 
maybe, I can't remember. I don't have a kid, so I don't really look at those, but I like that you could put in like signed documents or paper due or like I just did my taxes the other day. I could have put this in and said like tax prep because it just took me time. But there's a lot of different things that you could do with these stickers, regardless of your life. Also, I thought that these would be really cute for like cooking. Um, this is like a little like crock pot slash slow cooker, or like even if you're into the Instapot craze, it'd be kind of kind of a cool thing too. Um, but you can use this to signify cooking or even um, not necessarily going out to eat. I mean, you could do it for going out to eat, but just, you know, like meal prep or something like that. So I thought these would be really cute. Also these fun little houses, in the nice rainbow colorway as well. So you could signify this for like rent due, mortgage due, things that you have to do around the house, like changing light bulbs or changing your air filters or whatever you have to do that's home related or even like cutting the grass, lots of different things um, you could use these stickers for. One of my favorites that you guys have seen over and over and over in my plan with me's have been these, these are little laundry stickers and I love that they come in a variety of colors. It just helps me remember that I'm doing laundry that day or I need to do the laundry that day um, so I really really enjoy these and I believe that she has these in a variety of different I think like two different sizes um, so I just really really like these and it just makes the planner look a little bit more decorative with still being functional also these are super cute these are these amazing stethoscopes that are like medically related so you've got like the little cross with the stethoscope in a variety of colors and I just really like this you could use these for like prescription pickups prescription drop-offs medical appointments call the doctor call the nurse like lots of different things she also has these that have like little paw prints in the middle I believe and obviously I didn't think that that would appeal to everybody but I think this would because we all have to go to medical appointments or doctor's appointments or have prescriptions filled and things like that or things that are medically related so I think that these would work really really well for most people also I uh, thought that these would be a good one with the trash and I like that they're kind of a variety of a colorway I picked the ones that are the trash only not the ones that are like the trash and recycle she also has those on her website as well but I thought this would be nice even if you don't have like a scheduled trash day because I used to live in an apartment complex and I didn't have a specific trash day but you could use this for like decluttering clearing out stuff things like that and I think that would be really nice as well as obviously if you have a trash day that would work as well so I'm sure you guys are wondering after all of this how much is this bundle so the Emily's beginner bundle on coffee break planner is gonna be priced at $36.68 so there is a little bit of a discount if you buy them all together and then you can also apply my discount code for 20% off, which is Emily20. I'll put it on the screen right now for you guys, as well as put it down in the notes down below. So then the final price, if you use my discount code, will be $29.34, which is like an amazing, amazing starter price deal for all of these sheets, especially to get yourself started or somebody that you know will make a great gift. Um, but yeah, and then obviously she has all of these in individuals too, so if you don't want the whole bundle, you can always go check that out as well. So anyways, um, my battery is running out of power, but I wanted to announce that I am giving all of this stuff away. Hold on, let me zoom you out. There we go. I'm giving everything away to one of you guys. Everything is gonna be posted on Facebook. And I'm just so, so happy about this. And Catherine and I have been keeping this a secret for quite a while. So I'm just excited to finally share with you guys the functional, the decorative, all the planners, everything I talked about today, as well as, oh, forgot these, the habit trackers and the markers. Those are gonna be part of the giveaway as well. And I'm just so excited. I'm not giving this pen away. I'm sorry, I'm not giving that away. <laughs> I need my pen. Anyways, um, if you wanna enter the giveaway, make sure to follow me down on Facebook. There will be a link down below for you guys. And I am so, so happy to finally release this. Ugh. Like secrets, I can't handle secrets, you guys. I just can't handle them. But anyways, uh, the, the rules are normally the same. The link to my Facebook will take you to the rules. So anyway, I am gonna jet. My battery is running out of power because I've been talking for way too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.